So guys, what I got here is our new TR9. I want to kind of go over what this gun's all about. This gun was designed with me and Zach Smith and JR to be the most reliable 9mm carbine out there. Within a few months of its conception, this gun paired up with our new Sand Viper just won the two gun nationals. I don't know if it's ever happened before, but it's kind of fun. What I'm going to show about this gun, other than how soft it shoots and how cool it is, is the reliability. I've lost countless matches with stupid gun jams and misery over my insufferable career. So let me show you, I've got here this mix of complete mess of unreliable filth that Zach had found me and loaded for me. And I'm gonna load up this mag. We got some weird lipstick round. We got backward loaded hollow points, hollow bottoms. But these are the ones that'll get us. This is a bullet in backward. It's a reverse round. Like it's as unreliable as it could possibly get. Put some of those in there. Put this junky black bullet. Just got just, just random hollow points, a full metal, a couple of expensive hollow points there, probably, I don't know what they are, Super Vel or something. Now here we go, these are the ones that are a mess. Actually put it in backward, stupid. Put that one in backward, no, I'm really stupid. It's hitting me out! All right, so loading these in backwards, check this out. And let's just see how this thing shoots with this trash. So it fed all that filth. Most of these kind of carbines and different rifles like this, all they like is full metal jacket. To feed this kind of junk in this gun gives you the confidence to go to a match which is expensive nowadays, to go there that you've got that reliability. This gun is filthy. We've been shooting this gun madcap on the range with everybody. We're too lazy this morning to clean it. It's still fed this stuff. It's just, it's just awesome. This gun, so much detail went into this gun. The angle of the magazine, how it goes in the gun, is a huge part of the reliability. The feed ramp on this barrel, and these guns are insane accurate. They're under an inch and 100 yards of the 9mm, which is pretty awesome. So there it is, our TR9 reliability test. Go ahead and try that with some other brands out there if you want. I don't know if you want to load backward bullets. It's kind of ri ridiculous. But anyway, there it is. The TTI TR9. Nothing is over. Nothing. You just don't turn it off. This is our Sand Viper. I'm going to see if this will feed this trash. Probably won't. Stuff's like underpowered loaded. Zach, you set me up. I don't expect this to run in a 2011. But let's see. Turn the dot on, dummy. Right. Holy crap, it feeds that stuff too. What the hell? I gotta try that again. This wasn't even ever tested before. More of these silly backward rounds. So both these guns that just won the two gun nationals feed the most filthy, the stupidest ammo you could possibly find. Not saying you want to do that, but to know in the back of your mind that you've got that kind of crazy reliability with these two guns, it just sets them apart. Sick. It's not over. Not <laughs> nothing is over, nothing. It doesn't surprise me. It works. Shut it down. Better. Zach, get over here. The video's not over. <laughs> Now we're gonna do this one. What do we got here? Load that mag, Zach. What do you want in it? We're gonna try the last one out. This is our 2011 John Wick 3 Combat Master. This gun won two of the divisions of the Nationals last year. It's our sight block model. Just load that horrible junk. Show up close, you're putting in backward bullets. They're so short I can't get them out of the case. Put in some miserable hollow points. What this gun does different than your typical uh, five inch barrel uh, 2011 is it's a 5.4, it's longer. You've got a longer sight radius, but you have the front sight stays static on the sight block. So the, the green dot or red dot of the fiber optic does not move. And it just shoots softer. You keep that mass out there, you got a lighter weight slide. 
the gun shoots off. Galloway! Well, there it is. All these guns just feed everything. It's crazy. The Glock. Let's try the Glock. Last one, Zach. Let's finish off your trail and make some misery. This is the craziest video of all time. Look, I keep putting them in backwards. Backwards? Let me get a like, good mag. The bullet's backwards, not the whole case. We're not HK. Right. There we go. Shut up. So it's the last of our junk. That's some crazy short hollow points. Trail mix a mess. The Glocks, they feed everything, right? Like, we've got to think about it. God, I hate this ammo. Okay, so here's the last of our junk. Got a weirdo hollow point. Backward bullet. Stubby round. Hollow point. Where are you? This is my carry optics Glock. Oh, what? That's not surprising. Well, I mean, you know, the clocks are reliable as hell. This is just the dumbest test ever. No one's gonna shoot this trash. But we'll give it. All right, it doesn't work in Glocks. That's okay, Glocks don't need to shoot goofball ammo like that. 